On the eve of June 16, Beijing municipal government announced that it would raise the level of pandemic control to level 2, entering a wartime status. The announcement came after weeks of no new cases of the virus, but 137 new infections were detected in Beijing from June 11 to 16, although actual numbers are suspected to be higher. Moreover, Hebei, Zhejiang, Liaoning and Sichuan provinces also has rise in new cases. Beijing had begun a new lockdown since June 16. However, it was not announced to the public but instead various lockdown measures were implemented silently in the city. People leaving the city are required to provide a seven-day report of daily nucleic acid test which has made leaving the city impossible. Flight cancellations at Beijing's two airports have also reached 70 percent. A doctor at the Beijing Emergency Room told Vision Times that the situation in Beijing is very serious, with a major outbreak expected in one to two weeks. In the post few weeks, at least 100,000 people were estimated to have visited the wholesale food market, Zinfati, which is believed to be the source of the new spike. On June 14, a number of tour buses were spotted near the Zinfati wholesale market, taking residents and vendors to hotels for quarantine. It was estimated about 200,000 people were quarantined. On June 15, a Beijing resident told a reporter that, the Sinfati wholesale market supplies Beijing with 70% of the vegetables, meat, eggs, poultry and seafood. After Beijing opened up last week, everyone was busy shopping for gatherings. If there was one asymptomatic case in one of the restaurant, it would be the end of the neighborhood. In April this year, Ming Pao from Hong Kong reported that some of the top leaders of the Chinese Communist Party, CCP, had moved their offices at Zhongnanhai the central headquarters for CCP, to Jade Spring Mountain located at the west of Beijing's suburb to reduce gatherings. An earlier report by Vision Times mentioned that there is a secret escape route at Jade Spring Mountain, which leads to an Air Force base where helicopters are standing by, it is still unknown how the second wave of outbreak started. But the Chinese media reported that the virus was discovered on chopping boards used for imported salmon for Europe which drew Norway's attention. Norwegian Minister of Fisheries and Seafood Anna Melingebrigtsen said on June 17 that after meeting with Chinese officials, the two countries concluded that the outbreak in Beijing did not originate from Norwegian fish. Multiple experts have also concluded that COVID-19 does not infect aquatic organisms such as fish. Viruses in human lungs are not likely transmitted to fish, and that viruses on the gills of fish could not transmit to people as well. There are no known viral diseases in the world that are shared by humans and fish, although Beijing claimed that the epidemic rebounded by the end of May and that there was no cover-up with the outbreak in Wuhan, such statements were questioned by pandemic experts. Gao Fu, director of the Chinese Center for Disease Control and Prevention, said, It is very likely that the patients in Beijing were not infected by early June or late May but one month and prior. That means that the pandemic would have spread in late April. There were many asymptomatic or mild cases of infections here that could have spread the viruses, he said. On June 18, Beijing official confirmed that there has been 158 new cases since June 11, which indicated that mass community infection has occurred. In one restaurant, seven new cases are confirmed. Photos of people flooding in Beijing International Airport, seeking to catch a flight and leave Beijing, had also been widely circulated on China's social media. It has been confirmed that at least 1,000 flights were cancelled but people still have strong desires to leave Beijing. According to Beijing's media, the demand for COVID-19 testing has been rising. Test reservation has been scheduled till September. Beijing used to claim a capacity of conducting 400,000 tests a day. However, it is reported officials have limited daily testing to 90,000, creating a huge difference.